Overall, the World Heritage Center and IUCN welcome the important progress which has been made by the State Party in implementing the corrective measures. And they conclude that the desired state of conservation for the removal of the property from the list of World Heritage in danger has been achieved. It is therefore recommended that the committee removes the property from the list of World Heritage in danger. Today, the World Heritage Committee officially delisted the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System from the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Danger list. Back in 1996, the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System was designated as a World Heritage Site. As a natural system, it consists of the largest barrier reef in the Northern Hemisphere, offshore atolls, hundreds of sand keys, mangrove forests, coastal lagoons, and estuaries. According to UNESCO, quote, the system's seven sites illustrate the evolutionary history of reef development and are a significant habitat for threatened species, including the marine turtle, the manatee, and the American marine crocodile. But by 2009, it was said to be in danger because of mangrove cutting, developments, and the threat of offshore oil exploration. As Nadia Boot explained in an interview back in March 2017, our reef has been under significant pressures, and as a result, was in danger of losing its heritage status. So far, they've addressed the issue of the, of, of the um, having an integrated um, plan and just, you know in place um, by by in, by developing and enacting the, the integrated coastal zone management plan. And they are currently working on uh, the, on the coastal zone management act to add some legal teeth to the plan. Um, so far, they are working on um, the revising man the mangrove regulation, the national mangrove regulation, and we we, we we believe that that is supposed to be finished by you know the expectation is that that's going to be finished by the end of March, you no? Know? But the outstanding values, the outstanding issues are um, that that the, um, that needs to be addressed um, pertains to to ownership land ownership you know within these systems. We know that, um, within these each each of the World Heritage sites there are islands in their their keys, you no? Know? And some of those are publicly owned, some of those are privately owned. We know that for those that are privately owned, some level of development might occur, you know, will need to occur in there. But we are asking them to have stronger development restrictions on those privately owned land and for them to not sell any more um, of those islands and keys, the, public, the public, publicly owned ones, so that no further development can happen. Because development can impact the health of the systems around them. Within the, the ask from UNESCO is for them to ensure that no oil exploration activity will compromise the health and the outstanding universal value of the World Heritage Sites. But since then, GOB has made significant decisions and taken measures that helped to get the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve system off the list. Deputy Prime Minister Patrick Faber was at today's World Heritage Committee meeting in Bahrain where he spoke of GOB's commitments thus far, including the historic ban on offshore oil exploration that was announced in December of last year. We have instituted a legislated total ban on offshore oil exploration and have passed and implemented a comprehensive coastal zone management plan we celebrate the fact that Belize's overall mangrove cover in the site is maintained at 96% over the last 36 years. We further strengthen our position by now ensuring the further protection and management of mangroves nationally via revised mangrove regulations. We are finalizing the work to create mangrove reserves for the remaining mangrove stands within national land in the site and have a draft revised environmental impact assessment framework and legislation to ensure that development nationally is well regulated and takes into consideration the importance of our natural assets. Belize received verbal support from a number of countries around the world whose representatives praised Belize's efforts to get the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System removed from the list of the World Heritage Sites in danger. We complement the commitment and Herculean effort of Belize in addressing the issues impacting the OUV of the site. Belize has protected 21% of its territorial waters, instituted a legislated total ban on offshore oil drilling, and has approved and implemented a comprehensive national coastal zone management plan, addressing all development and sectoral activities within its territorial waters. Therefore, St. Kitts and Nevis supports the removal of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System from the list of World Heritage in danger. Hungary welcomes and fully supports the removal of the property Belize Barrier Reef uh, Reserve System from the World Heritage List in danger. We congratulate to the State Party for achieving the desired state of conservation for removal through the proper application of legal tools and procedures, including the environmental impact assessment, as well as protective measures integrated into the Coastal Zone Management Plan 
and regulations aiming at the protection of mangrove forests. The property had been inscribed on the World Heritage List in danger in 2009. Hungary recommends that this almost 10-year process be used as an example and good practice for state parties having World Heritage sites on the list in danger. But to get the site removed from the endangered list, it took significant resources, mobilization, collaboration, and action. The conservation community particularly championed the cause. The World Wildlife Fund started a campaign three years ago to get the government to take the necessary steps needed to get the Barrier Reef off the endangered list. Those initiatives included a campaign that saw the delivery of 265,000 signed petitions delivered to the Prime Minister's office in March of last year. We need to bring this matter to the attention of the Prime Minister and so we have launched this international campaign um, and so we have had a lot of support uh, both in Belize and abroad and uh, so we want to ensure that the Prime Minister is getting these emails, is getting this message that people here in Belize and around the world are concerned about the status of Belize's barrier reef system. And now I therefore uh, declare draft decision 42.7a43 adopted. Congratulations uh, to, the state of, uh, to, to the State Party of Belize for this achievement. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.